Settlers of Oklahoma Territory 100 years ago did more than break ground to grow crops. They planted the seeds that grew into a paradise on the prairie. Oklahoma City was like most cities in America's heartland. For decades, downtown was the center of all social and cultural activity. And like most American cities, downtown experienced a post-war exodus. Our cars took us home to the suburbs. We shopped where we lived. And downtown changed. Experts arrived with ideas to rebuild downtown. Renowned architect I.M. Pei crafted a plan that called for massive restructuring. And downtown crumbled. Public apathy toward preservation and conservation, coupled with easy federal grants and cheap energy, allowed the wholesale demolition of downtown Oklahoma City. The oil boom riches of the 70s and early 80s transformed the face of downtown. Modern high-rises replaced many historic buildings as Oklahoma City began to rediscover downtown. Then came the unforeseen. The oil bust. Banks failed. Money dried up. Federal dollars for downtown disappeared as the homeless population grew. The city faced an obstacle. Indigent alcoholics staked a claim at the gateway of the emerging arts district. The proposed cultural district is seen as a key element in downtown regeneration. Before the property needs could be addressed, several public-private partnerships were formed to address the human needs of, of the Skid Row inhabitants. The first step program got started in September of uh, 1987 when the city uh, made this property available to us on a lease and put up a seed grant for to get the program underway. One of our projects is contracted with the city of Oklahoma City to uh, keep the Draper Lake area clean and uh, then in return we provide all the necessities. Uh, we house, feed and clothe them if necessary, medical necessities and then all of the ingredients that are necessary for recovery from this disease. The city gave us through the city journal funds $50,000 to get started and, and that just was something that we, just made us happy uh, because we were able to get it started right on time. We could see that there was a need, uh, a need uh, to help these individuals at the 500 block. So definitely RES has done that. Uh, we have opened up our doors and they're coming in here and we're able to help. You know, you can go up to the 500 block uh, now at this particular time and uh, there's nobody, so it's working. This is a safe haven for them. The Union train station embodies Oklahoma City's regeneration efforts. Built in the 20s, closed in the 70s, and renovated in the 80s by a private company that fell victim to the economy. Now home to the city's transportation department, thanks to a public-private partnership. Downtown is rebounding as Oklahoma City's cultural center. In recent years, the Myriad Gardens has become downtown's people place, home to the Spring Festival of the Arts and other celebrations. Renovated buildings surrounding the gardens provide permanent space for the arts. And the Crystal Bridge Tropical Conservatory is the crown jewel of the Myriad Gardens. To make downtown the soul of the city, we must open our hearts to the homeless and our minds to see the beauty in blending the old and new. Oklahoma City is creating a contemporary paradise on the prairie.